leg heading to that airport. It's gonna be an awesome trip. Go concrete. Okay, so I'm in LA. Um, it was a great flight, uh, and I just got my documents to go to Auckland. So it's about an hour or so till that flight takes off, and uh, yeah, gonna be taking off soon. Talk to Whitney. Kids are in bed. Everybody's good at the homestead. It's gonna be an awesome flight. Looking forward to this flight, but yeah. So going to Auckland, then once I get into Auckland, I go to Perth. So, I think it's like 20 more hours of travel. John Belkowitz here from Intelligent Concrete talking to you live from Perth, Australia, Western Australia. So far, it's been a, an amazing trip. I, I left um, Colorado over 40 hours ago. 40 hours ago? I think it's about 50 hours ago. No, no, no it's about 40. Um, 33 hours of travel by plane to get over here. Um, and it has been an absolute, I mean, Air New Zealand just was absolutely flipping awesome. And I'm out here in Australia, then I go to New Zealand, and I'm talking about colloidal silica hydrogel technologies. Um, and it's something that I, I'm interested in. Colloidal silica has been the basis of most of my research for well over a decade now. And over the last two years, I've gotten to colloidal silica hydrogels. And I just wanted to take a minute before I have to get over to talking to some engineers. Well, it's early still yet. I've uh, got to do some work before heading out, but I wanted to go into some quick definitions about what a colloidal silica hydrogel technology is. Um, and the colloidal silica hydrogel is not the end product. Uh, colloidal silica hydrogel is a combination of a nanosilica and a fluid dispersion. It has a very specific electrical double layer to it. Um, and what that colloidal silica hydrogel is used for normally it's either mixed into or sprayed on top of a concrete, normally deteriorated concrete, so a retrofit. And what that colloidal silica, that liquid does, is it combines with the cement pore solution, so your, your water that has sodium, potassium, and calcium as well, some other stuff in there, to start a polymerization process. And basically what happens is in a colloidal silica, dispersion you have nano silica particles that are swimming freely and while they might bump into each other because of their electrical double layer they bounce off of each other and even if they bounce into other things in dispersion like water molecules uh, instead of creating van der Waal forces that they they bounce off these adjacent particles but um, when they're introduced to that cement pore solution that that cement pore solution which has the sodium potassium and calcium and other stuff in there causes a change in the electronegative potential of the entire solution that colloidal silica technology ends up changing that electrical double layer so that when the particles bounce off of each other or adjacent particles through Brownian motion, instead of bouncing off of each other, they start building up these van der Waal forces and end up sticking into each other and building on top of each other to create these three-dimensional networks. Now, 